In this week's brick and mortar, Dave and I were in Vienna to check out Mc Milk Made Creations and Antiques. Yeah, such a neat little place. And not only do, does the store craft some of their own products, they teach others how to do it as well. Take a look. Here in downtown Vienna, we're at Milkmaid Creations and Antiques. I had to make sure I said that right. We have Emily Curley here. She is the owner. Emily, when you walk in the business here, first thing you notice, you have this big board right here. Mm -hmm. So tell us what this is. Um, so this is just to keep my customers updated on when my next um, do-it-yourself furniture painting class is coming up um, or um, upcoming events that are coming up here either in Vienna or I do travel and do some shows. Um, but yeah, just to kind of advertise what's coming up here in Vienna or here specifically in my store. Well, with, earlier with Evie, we were able to find out a little bit about some of the things you sell in here and different kinds of things, but you also, you have the classes here. So tell us about, you have a paint class coming up. Yes, I have a paint class coming up on February 10th. Um, so you bring a small piece of furniture and then um, uh, we'll clean it up, we'll sand it a little bit, and then we'll paint it. And I use General Finishes products, um, but you bring the piece of furniture, you paint it, and then I clean up the mess. You don't have to do any of that. Nice. I want to take a little trip through the store a little bit because we talked about this earlier. Abby mentioned it. It's like going down memory lane. And I lived quite a bit with my grandparents growing up. And walking through here, I recognized a lot of these items that they used coming in. By the way, this table's gorgeous. I love this one. But this right here is the one thing that caught my eye is the signs right here. You have a lot of antique signs. Um, you said that uh, you have a gentleman that helps you out with these. Yes, I do have consigners. Not all the items are mine. Um, I do have a gentleman. He brings me my men's stuff, um, which are things, you know, men would like. I tend to lean towards the more girly home decor items, but he helps me out and brings stuff that um, guys would like, which, you know, for example, are a lot of these signs are his. So they're cool looking. Well, yeah, they are. They're pretty. And, and that one takes me back. When I was a kid, I used to work at a full service gas station pumping gas and they had that sign so it takes me right back to that moment yes. um, but you mentioned consigners that's a that's a big part of the business here as well yes yeah I do have a handful of consigners they help me fill the store um, they bring me unique different items um, and I do when the item sells I take a small percentage of the profit um, but yeah it works out really well we get to work together and um, I take their items and stage them throughout the store one of the other things that I wanted to compliment you on, I love the little notes and things around the store, the little hidden things on chalkboards. You said you have a little helper with that. I do. I do have a high school girl. She comes and helps me on Saturdays, and then during the summer she'll extend her hours. But, yeah, I do have one employee that comes and helps me. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I, I tell you what, it's a lot of really neat things in yes. here. You have a lot of good ideas, a lot of local things. So thanks so much for showing us around your store. And, guys, we'll have this up on our website, WSILTV.com, a little bit later on. Now again, tonight they are planning that furniture painting class at six in the back room of the store. The cost is $45 and she has some pretty regularly, so. Yeah, she has a lot of really neat stuff. And I remember uh, in your part earlier, you had the Alka-Seltzer tube yeah. and there was still an Alka-Seltzer. Yeah, there was, yeah, she still kept, she kept the Alka-Seltzer in there. So, yeah. and seeing the glass bottles, I guess from the old um, Marion bottle factory was neat. This is history. I mean, I'm from Marion, so it was just so neat. No, it was, it was that. really neat.